It's been going very well actually, um, surprisingly well. And when we sat down before we started all this and came up with what we thought the benefits of going through this major change in culture and everything else, what we didn't identify is how team building it's been. And so everyone considered this is gonna be a very tense time, it's going to be you know, a negative um, integration, but in fact, it's quite the opposite. Uh, at every level, um, from the administrative staff, the nurses, the doctors, the allied health, the people that push the trolleys around, they're all very part of the team, they're all engaged, it's, it's, it's fantastic. We thought that we would need uh, a gazillion helpers and in fact, um, the staff have actually, in the main, been so well trained um, leading up to this that the helpers, whilst they're needed, haven't been needed in the density that we've that we thought. Now we're still day four. Um, theatres go live on Wednesday, uh, and outpatients, which is a big chunk of the go live, is predominantly next week. Though we've we've deliberately started some outpatients early, so we use that as. Um, as a, an area to identify any little things that haven't uh, surfaced in the testing. So it's, uh, it's been clever, cleverly uh, orchestrated, I think. This was exactly the question that I um, proposed myself, you know, why are we doing all of this as a nuclear um, one-off switchover? But in fact, we're not. We're doing it over two weeks. And and we're doing it in, in various areas, like A&E first and then MAPU. And, and so with MAPU, we, we actually have a model of a ward that we can look at before we actually put the ward slide. Yeah, I think that uh, the important thing is that as many of the staff are properly trained as possible. I think that's the, uh, that's the, the single biggest take-home take message and I think we, we, we went in to go live with about 96-97% of the staff trained so that was that was uh, an amazing statistic of, of itself um, and yeah and I, I think uh, as I said it's actually a positive team building experience and if they go into it like that rather than oh my god we're going to get all this massive pushback from you know the older people the ones who can't type um, uh, then I think that everyone will be a bit more relaxed. Yeah, I can't think of anything that uh, we could have done better, just uh, would have been nice to have an extra couple of weeks, um, but we're coming up to Christmas, um, and typically the hospital flexes down over the Christmas period. The planning for the reduction to allow the training to occur, was uh, that was a very significant part of all of this, uh, flexing down elective surgery, outsourcing patients to private so that they didn't become you know, wait too long, um, all of that sort of flex down to allow 5,000 um, staff to get trained, that, uh, that, that was a challenge, but we've done it very well. As I said, 90, 96 or 97% of staff were trained. And the governance, um, I think this is not an IT project. This is actually a clinical project powered by IT. So, so as you've seen at a number of the meetings, I know that you've attended, Yes, there's very, very strong IT input, but, um, but there's also uh, at least as much um, clinical input in terms of, well, is this good for patients? Go for the low-hanging fruit, uh, that's the first thing, and, uh, and generally this sort of an endeavour is embraced by uh, people uh, considerably younger than me, so that's the low-hanging fruit, and then there are um, uh, as somebody once said, you can have the best idea in the world and a third of the people will embrace it, a third of the people will reject it, and a third of the people are your swinging voters that you've got to get on board. Yeah. And you can have the worst idea in the world and you'll have the same, um, the same uh, a third, a third, a third. Yeah. So, um, so the first third, you've already got them. The second third are the ones you've got to work on. And I think that's what we've done well. 
and then the final third are the ones that you say, oh, well, everyone says this is great. Yeah. And then I think it's important to have people like me running around the place saying, gee, it's going really well. You know, the, that ward that went, go, go, that went live two days ago, they're all saying, now, if we ever went back to paper, they'd all leave. And people are going, oh, really? Oh, it must be good. So that's how you get your final third. It's a bit, bit, of, it's a bit of sales. Thank you.